What's up, Key Issues? Garrick here, and welcome to today's video where we will be going over the powers and abilities of Elijah Price, also known as Mr. Glass from the Unbreakable Universe. But unlike the Horde or David Dunn, Elijah's powers aren't so black and white, and as of this recording, there has not been any concrete confirmation that Mr. Glass even has superpowers, so I'm going to do my best to convince you with sort of a theory video. So with all of that out of the way, let's just get right into it. Elijah Price was born with a rare condition known as Osteogenesis Imperfecta, or OI for short. OI is a genetic disorder characterized by bones that break very easily, often from little to no apparent cause. A classification system of different types of OI is commonly used to help describe how severely a person with OI is affected. For example, a person may have just a few or as many as several hundred fractures in a lifetime. And unfortunately for Elijah, he suffered 96 breaks during the course of his life, and his bones are essentially held together by bubblegum and toothpicks. Since he was bedridden and unable to play with other children, he spent his life reading comic books and fantasizing about having superpowers. Eventually, this idea consumes him, and he begins to believe that if he spent his entire life frail and easily broken, there must be someone on the opposite end of the spectrum who was unbreakable. And it turns out, he was right. We know that Elijah has an extraordinary IQ, one that is likely off the charts, but I'd like to take a step further into this theory. If Elijah is the true antithesis of David Dunn, then he wouldn't just be impossibly fragile, but he would also have additional abilities. And if you want to learn more about David Dunn's abilities, click on the card. So from here, We'll be throwing together a Frankenstein theory of my own, and one that has been floating around since Unbreakable first came out nearly 20 years ago. So again, we know that Elijah claims to be the true opposite of David Dunn, and if this were true, then Elijah would have to exhibit more than just his crippling disorder. If David Dunn is able to sense what people have done, I'm theorizing that Elijah is able to control what people will do. Now again, this theory has been around for nearly 20 years, but I haven't seen anyone tie this theory with being the opposite to David Dunn. So I'm taking credit for that. Thank you very much. But let me take you down the rabbit hole so you can really appreciate my true genius at work. After Elijah falls down a flight of stairs while chasing David, he is sent to physical therapy. And who does he end up with as his physical therapist? David's wife, Audrey. Now, this could just be a coincidence, but there are literally thousands of physical therapists in the greater Philadelphia area, but Elijah just ends up in the care of Audrey Dunn? So it's possible that Elijah was able to manipulate his way into her care using his extraordinary abilities, even if he did it unknowingly. During the conversation between Audra and Elijah, Audrey tells him a lot of information about her personal life and then briefly pauses to wonder aloud why she's telling him all of this. Again, could Elijah be manipulating her to reveal secrets that she likely wouldn't tell a complete and total stranger? Next, let's discuss David Dunn's relationship with Elijah. Throughout David's life, he has always known that there was something off about himself, but it takes Elijah's influence to get him to start to investigate about his backstory and probe into his abilities. David's initial reaction is skepticism. However, the more David is in direct contact with Elijah, the more he is willing to go in terms of pushing himself and his abilities until eventually he just believes everything. Is it possible that once Elijah is able to influence you, his influence never stops? I don't know. Maybe my tinfoil hat is just a little too thick or a little too tight. And the final piece of evidence to support this theory from the Unbreakable film happens in the bar scene when Elijah is given critical information about the hotel that he eventually burns down. The man he's speaking to tells him, I worked in that building 25 years. I know all its secrets. Like if there was ever a fire on floors one, two, or three, everyone in the hotel would be burned alive. 
What sane person would divulge this information, again, to a complete and total stranger? So that's all of the circumstantial evidence from Unbreakable, but we've been given even more convincing evidence supporting the fact that Elijah does indeed have superpowers from the most recent trailers. And during these trailers for Glass, psychiatrist Ellie Staple, who specializes in the growing field of people who are under the delusion that they have superpowers, is interviewing Kevin David, and Elijah. This is very interesting to me because, as we know, Elijah never claimed to have superpowers during Unbreakable, so why was he put in the care of someone who specializes in those who think or believe they are superheroes? Now, I suppose that since Elijah believes that heroes exist, that he may have just been put in her care because he has this delusion about others, not necessarily about himself, but you can make the argument that maybe he divulged his secrets while incarcerated in the insane asylum. But Staple goes on to explain that David, Kevin, and Elijah have convinced themselves that they have extraordinary abilities like those out of a comic book. I'm just saying. Secondly, why would Miss Staple feel the need to keep Elijah heavily sedated if deep down she didn't believe that he has some sort of supernatural ability? You're telling me that a cripple resigned to a wheelchair and unable to walk, a guy that you will just look at the wrong way and he'll break into a million pieces, that he is such a threat that he needs to be kept sedated no matter the IQ of this person, that seems a little bit extreme. So I don't think that's the case. I think Elijah has been using his abilities to convince his caretakers to do awful things and then they were forced to sedate him. I don't think he's just so smart that he's able to get away with these sort of things. So think of Kilgrave from Jessica Jones, the only safe place from a character like Kilgrave or Mr. Glass is sedation. You have to sedate them so they cannot coherently form a plan of influence towards other people. And the cherry on top that pretty much confirms this theory is Elijah's own statement to Ellie Staple. I've been waiting for the world to see that we exist. Boom. We exist. He includes himself in the group with Kevin and David. In Unbreakable, he was under the assumption that David was superpowered, not himself. Now, he believes that he is part of this group. So, is Mr. Glass using his control over the mind to make the beast do as he wishes, or has he used his immense intellect to convince the beast to join him? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, let me know if you think this theory holds any water. Does Mr. Glass have super abilities? Let me know what you think. Again, remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. It does really, really help us out. Follow us on Twitter at KeyIssuesCast. That's at KeyIssuesCast. And remember the motto, it's comics over everything. And I'll see you guys next time.